Hello everybody, today, oh, hang on just one second, I have a, um, have some stuff to figure out I guess, <laughs> just getting some water, Today I'm gonna paint uh, rainforest. Well, I'm gonna start. This is a very large canvas. It's a 36 by 48 inch canvas, and I have a rainforest theme because I'm preparing to paint for. I'm uh, preparing to paint a mural. figure out the camera so you can see my paints it says it's waiting for correct connection okay we're we good you can see my palettes here my colors I'm gonna just log into my channel so I can see comments and stuff. Hey Clara, how are you doing? Uh, maybe I should put the camera on the other side. Uh, preparing for this painting I was gonna do some sketches and then since I had all my reference photos on the computer uh, I didn't want to I just wanted to do everything there on the computer so I was sketching on my digital pad too did you get one of those with a screen you got an iPad nice those are always good okay I don't know whether to clean up my palette or just leave it like this but um, using I said I'll be using uh, golden open paints but actually I have Liquitex so Liquitex professionals professional paint I do have some all of these uh, values are golden open acrylics so, got some yellow ochre. Actually, I have, I think, Liquitex, raw sienna. I also have ochre. So, for the mural, I got, I'm still waiting to receive the golden mural paints. I'm very excited for those. I think that's enough for now. I don't know if I'll get into the the brown today probably yellow oxide very close to raw sienna no a yellow ochre I mean yellow cadmium free yellow medium color I'm gonna need some brown burns you know i want to burn umber this is transparent <laughs> i've got a lot of old liquitex paints that my mother-in-law got for me a while ago some some art store was going on sale and she got me a whole bunch of paints and i didn't really use them i'm gonna need a lot of brown 
and this burnt sienna which is really nice let me just organize my palette what are you drawing portraits a portrait or are you doing some other things okay let's get some burnt sienna i really prefer the burnt versions to the raw versions yeah procreate well it's a nice journey it's it's nice to learn and to, i think you're gonna love it the way that you can create use multiple uh, layers and keep adding and you, if you don't like something you just add another layer or delete and it's so much easier okay what else do i need for the background maybe some blue the only blue that i have in the liquitex is this ultramarine blue it's a, a red oh it's got a green shade it really does look like it has a red shade rather Let's do uh, phthalo green. This is our Arteza. Okay. I think we'll start with these for now and then see where we go. Get this big <laughs> jar of paintbrushes. Mm. I think I'm just gonna go for a smaller brush, not one super big. This is a three-quarter brush, I think. It'll do for now. Okay. Let's still see the paints. Sorry for that glare over there. Okay, mix. Uh, I want to move the cable out of the way. It's kind of bugging me. Okay. Um, I'm going to make some green. Uh, it's very freeing to be able to draw and not worry about wasting supplies. Yeah. I bet. I think you're going to think you're going to love it. I'm gonna use some of the golden open to help it stay uh, wet a little longer. Let's use a little bit of, I'm gonna make some different shades, different hues rather. Different hues of green for the background. I don't really worry about my brush getting uh, dirty. Let's do a little bit of blue over here. That's nice. Yeah, I don't really worry about using wasting supplies in the form of paints, but but uh, you know what? It's the storage. <laughs> That's the problem for me. Storage of paintings. That's a real bugger. I've got, maybe I'll show you after. I'll show you how I keep my canvases here in this tiny corner of the garage where I, where I exist in my arting. A little bit of bluish gray, bluish gray here. for the top. Okay, and let's just start with that and then see where we go. I've sketched, I've loosely sketched some things here just to give me an idea of what I'm doing, but Uh, a lot of it is probably going to get covered.
are you uh, drawing on Discord, chatting with people? <laughs> I wish we can figure out that Discord again, the chat. I really enjoyed chatting in person. Let's grab some. You thinking about it? About what? <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, about going on Discord? Let's grab some white every now and then. Add some little uh, variations of color of light and dark. I feel like this might be a bit too big of a brush, but... drawing on discord i haven't downloaded discord on my tablet yet have you ever done a ropes course before no uh like a physical uh thing no but i think it would be fun something like a ninja warrior sort of thing <laughs> i've thought about it actually i've thought about going on ninja warrior that would be fun only I don't really like to be in the public eye that much, you know? As you can clearly see. <laughs> it's a bit of a random off topic, yeah. Why, Clara? Do you want to do a, a ropes course? Okay, I'll have to look at these. Yeah, something like that. I would like to. I love uh, I love physical exercise and and hiking and that sort of stuff. Just in this uh, line of work, I don't really get to do much of that. <laughs> I'm very sedentary, which I don't like a lot, but I try it. Um, you wear a harness and clip onto a wire and then you have to travel from tree to tree on a suspended challenging course. Wow, nice. Ah, I bet. Did you? Have you done that, Clara? I would love to. I've been... Uh, we have a Doylestown rock climbing near us. It's basically a rock climbing room and uh, but it's very finite you know it's just this room and then you can climb walls basically it's not very natural looking <laughs> but I think I can kick some butts you know ropes course <laughs> I like it much better than rock climbing Oh, I did one in Switzerland and one in Wisconsin. Super challenging and scary, but fun. I like scary and fun. Suspended obstacle course. I like to be suspended too, especially from reality. <laughs> <clears throat> Is that a tree? Why did I leave it blank? I don't know why, but I would love to do that. I'll have to look it up if I can find some in my area and then find some people that would go with me. Because I think hiking is and rock climbing in a very controlled environment is the most that I can ask for my family. <laughs> Turn the volume a bit up. Um, often you'll try to balance on like a wobbly bridge. <laughs> yeah, cool. I've got core and arm strength. I'm pretty, pretty good at those. But of course, you know, like you can always be better. 
I would like to challenge myself and get some more strength. Well, I'm really digging those colors. They're a bit, a bit bright though. Let's bring a little bit of gray in there. Got a toucan up here. I think we're gonna go a little bit. Um, often you'll try to balance, right? If you fall, you'll be fine, but it's more degrading because <laughs> you have to yell for something, someone to save you. <laughs> nice. Yes, I, I think so. I think she would enjoy it a lot. In fact, when we were in Virginia, there was something of the sort, but we never got to doing it, unfortunately. But she was saying that she would love to do that. Let's make some different sort of green here. Wanted a little more, a little darker. But a little less saturated. Getting a little darker as we go down. Pocono Mountains, yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit of a drive, but it's not that far. That is a very good idea, actually. My husband's uh, birthday is coming up. Hopefully, he's not listening. Well, I don't hope he's not listening, but we might maybe do something like that. <laughs> Although I don't think he wants something to work on his birthday. <laughs> I don't know, though. He does have some uh, some weight loss goals there, so I just want to remember here that I have a vine, and I was gonna put some air plants on it and some other rainforest things it's okay if i cover it i'll remember can't keep track of every tiny little plant now let's get some gray grayed out a little bit Be quite darker. <laughs> Did you find one in your area? a pitcher plant in here. I remember that.
<laughs> Hi G Max, avoid the Poconos. I grew up there too touristy with New York and New Jersey people. <laughs> yeah, I know it's touristy. Is it all touristy though? Aren't there some some sanctuaries without so many people? You know another thing that I really wanted to do, like I've lived in I came anyway I've lived in the States for uh, 16 years now and uh, I've never even though I'm I lived in New York for a little bit and then I came to Pennsylvania but uh, I've always wanted to go to the Niagara to the waterfall and, uh, <laughs> and then my friend told me you know Niagara is very very touristy it's like you know, I have always imagined you just go there and enjoy the, the deafening sound of the waterfall and nice and quiet, you know, peaceful, no people. But she said there were so many tourists, you couldn't even breathe, basically. I'm like, oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. <laughs> this one in Philly, Tree Top Quest. Okay, thank you, Clara. I'll take a look. Definitely look. Sounds very fun. So, where do you live now, G Max? Here I'm gonna start the uh, is it like halfway. No, it's higher. I want to start the dirt area around here. So and, uh, start the brown. And let's just continue with with the green for a little while. Haven't been back to the Poconos for 20 years. Wow. Still, still scary about the traffic jams. Harrisburg. Oh, PA. We're pretty close then. Relatively. in uh, Doylestown, near Doylestown. I've been to your area a few times. Wife and I love the Missioner Museum. Yes! <laughs> the Missioner Museum. Now I'm hoping that uh, my husband isn't listening because he, he's he been wanting to go to the Missioner for, for a very long time and I don't know, we just never made it there and actually that's where I wanted to take him. It was a surprise. It's supposed to be a surprise but yesterday uh, we had a conversation about what we're gonna do and I have the worst, uh, you know, the worst poker face. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not telling you. My daughter was there and he was counting on her to, to break and to, you know, tell. <laughs> She's very good. But then when he mentioned, would it be perhaps the missionary museum? And I just, <sighs> I hope I didn't give it away, but I probably did. But they always show different things, so... That's what we're doing. We're probably gonna go to the Mercer Museum, too. It's pretty nice.
some white. Lighten it up in the sky a little bit. Do you paint GMAX? Do you do art of any kind? today is very eclectic <laughs> I put on my uh, dynamic process playlist on epidemic sound and there's all kinds of music I really like this song I don't remember what what is what there. Um, I do everything artistic, but still exploring mainly oils. Cool. Very nice. I'm trying to learn oils too. I was I was uh, contemplating doing this in oils, but I don't think I have enough oil paints to fill a canvas. And anyway, I. I think I would be more comfortable starting with acrylics and putting on the main bones bones of the painting first and then going with oils for the details and stuff like that but in, in time I'll build my confidence on oils. switch to a smaller brush let's see here mm. a fuzzy one a fuzzy brush some yellow hues in here. Yeah, these aren't all golden open I kind of got used to those because they dry so much slower and these get dry fast hoping to convince you to sell at the Harrisburg Art Fest next year <laughs> oh oh thank you Harrisburg Art Fest okay I'll take a look Hmm. 
<laughs> I'll have to make some smaller pieces for art festivals because I have a lot of big ones. <laughs> big pieces don't really sell at festivals. But prints do, prints and uh, cards and you know, smaller items, like smaller price items. They do much better than, than large canvases. And it took me a couple of years to figure that out. Actually just about a year. I've been in the, I started doing festivals right before COVID in 2019. And you know, festivals are great for for meeting people and making connections and and getting out and you know practicing your your social skills <laughs> basically and you know making connections but not so good for making money and it's a hassle to set up and all of that stuff is it's very labor intensive They do have a, an art festival, festival here in Doylestown. I've never uh, been to it, I think. I've never sold or attended it. Do they not sell because because the market isn't as good or because they don't attend as much? Definitely not be finishing this today. <laughs> not by a long shot, but I'll probably not even cover the whole canvas. But I'll block some things in whatever I can. <laughs> hey, Louis. Where do you see guns? My god, you and your violence, Louis. It's very dangerous. I don't know what you're talking about. How are you doing? What are you working on? <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up, Clara. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Trying to not draw attention to my overly 
<laughs> Overly pumped members. Yes, I figured. <laughs> You know, generally I wear a t-shirt because uh, I'm a little self-conscious about it, uh, but it's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot and I'm like, you know what, I'm not hiding anymore. It is not my intention to be like this, trust me. I just want to be strong, uh, you know, being, being pumped up is just the side effect of my strength. It's my power. <laughs> it's good to be pumped. <laughs> My back and arms are literal goals. <laughs> I, to be honest, I doubt many women want to be like this. But, but maybe it's one of those uh, sour grapes sort of thing, you know, because they don't, they can't do it. And I don't mind, you know, in a, in a shirt like this. It's a muscle shirt. It looks good, but just trying to like, uh, just wait until I put on a dress, and it's gonna get a little funny. <laughs> what video are you working on, Luigi? I've been really lazy on on YouTube. I feel really bad. <clears throat> um, you wanna get there? You wanna know my secret? <laughs> but tone back, I know, tone back. Um, <laughs> you do have a thing for backs. A grisaille video with humor. I can't wait to see it. No, you're not being creepy, admire me. <laughs> Um, I, I've always kind of been, you know, I just have good DNA for muscles. That's, I think, number one. I think a lot of people can work as hard as I do and not get here as fast. But I'm also, you know, I'm a pretty intense person to begin with. But I uh, work out just in Supernatural, that VR headset, you know, the, the flow. It's like a sword play. And then they also have a boxing. Uh, a boxing workouts so that's what I do pretty much boxing is mostly for the lower body for me for abs and, and lower body and the flow with swords is more for the upper body I don't think I need any more help in that <laughs> area but uh, I'll build muscle easy good yeah, you just start working out. That's all it takes. I work out about three times a week now. I When I started, I only started last year. I mean, I was pretty toned last year too, but not like this. Not like this. And I had, you know, I was pretty chunky around the mid area and I had, you know, the layer of fat was much more pronounced. Not much more, but just more than now. Um, so I started working out last year, basically, in, at the end of May, one year ago. I was working out uh, almost every day for a while, and then I started getting injured because I think uh, my my arms just couldn't keep up with my regimen. <laughs> so then, um, so then I had to take it easier. And now I just work out three times a week for a full hour, mostly. And uh, yeah, and then I maintain and that's pretty much it. No, no secret. Um, how many times a week do you work out now? What injuries, elbows, wrists? Well. When I started, I think I was squatting too forward because you have to also squat and use your legs. And my knees were going forward. And then after a while I realized, wait, I have to put my butt back. But that, that was cleared up very quickly. But uh, it was basically this muscle here, the forearm. 
because uh, um, it was really really sore right here and here so it was basically a spastic spastic arms because I was working them out so often and I didn't leave them enough time to recover I think but that was like five times a week high intensity for almost an hour so that was too much for me um, and then you know I, I had those um, elastic some sort of elastic bands and they really helped and then ice ice helped too and then I started taking cold showers uh, I think last September and I've only been taking cold showers ever since and once I started the cold showers Lewis I'm telling you I the, the spasticity went away all the pain went away so also I wasn't working as much I think only four times a week um, should make videos on it actually I think I have to make a video on my other channel my supernatural channel because people were asking about my diet and stuff <laughs> you've had the same injury yeah cold showers uh, once you, you know, like I said in my video, taking a cold shower is the best way to ensure that your day can't get any worse. It's kind of like basically eating the morning frog. And it's not that long. I just get in there, basically rinse off after my workout, and I wash whenever, you know, um, now my head, I wash it every day, but before I didn't wash my hair every day. But, um... Yeah, just wash the essentials and I get out. Less than five minutes a shower and feel amazing. My skin has never been so smooth like a baby's bottom. <laughs> oh no, for sure. <laughs> I take cold showers uh, after I work out. You know, and it's funny because before the cold showers, I was the kind of, I actually had a post on Facebook. I, I had shared it and it was this, it was this girl in the shower and instead of water, fire came down. And that's the kind of uh, temperature that I used to like before. It was hot, hot, hot. Like I would get out of the shower and it was, my skin was red because of how hot it was. So I'm, you know, I'm a bit of an extremist. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Don't, don't feel like you need to take it to the extremes like I do, but you know, it's healthy though. Cold showers are healthy. This song reminds me of Sturgill Simpson. Do you guys know Sturgill Simpson? I'm very curious. Is this musician that I was introduced to uh, when we watched a movie called The Dead Don't Die and he had a... Uh, the, the, basically the soundtrack for the movie was Sturgill Simpson and he had that song The Dead Don't Die but it was very, very country. Is the dead don't die. It was funny. I'm not a country person. But, um. Uh, yeah. Uh, tendonitis, I think that's pretty much what I had. So, cold really helps. Anything inflammation, just keep ice. It's incredibly helpful. And also, pressure. Pressure is really, really good. Like, the moment that I put the the elastic band on my arms it immediately felt better and i could actually i was actually working out with it too but the pain was significantly decreased and i think it helped the healing process too so yeah intense people like us lewis they don't have it easy We're like all in and we have to pay the price sometimes, and that's just the price you pay for awesomeness. <laughs> hey, Patty. <laughs> yes, they would help. They will definitely help. Sleeves. 
just make sure that the pressure is on the muscle. My friend who's a chiropractor here, Paul, my greatest supporter, he, <laughs> he just touched my, my uh, muscles and he's like, yeah, you're overdoing it. <laughs> You gotta take it easy. I said, well, that's not an option. What other guesses do you have? <laughs> we don't do easy in this house. How are you doing, Patty? Hot water heater was broken. You can just say water heater, Louis, just so you know. <laughs> it was broken, so I had to take cold showers, but I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> I see you're being facetious, I think, right? You're being funny. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I didn't even do anything on the other side. Let's just start. Uh, now yeah, let's do the other side too. This will be... <laughs> I don't know what sleeves you're talking about. Clara, you get used to it. You know, you just... The way I do it, I just put, put one leg in, I get it all wet. Then I put the other leg in, I get it all wet. And then, and then it's the front. And then the back is the hardest part, like the shoulder part and the neck and the head. Those are the most difficult, but you can do it. <laughs> if I can do it after, you know, being, being the super hot water sort of person, you can do it. I can tell you it's a lot more refreshing and it's really good for the skin. And just, I think my, I, I know that my cold sensitivity has has um, improved because I used to be the kind of person that always is cold sweaters and stuff and I'm not as cold anymore as I used to be and I can I mean I can feel it but I'm not bothered by it as much so uh, I understand it's not for everyone I don't know if you guys know about Wim Hof. Oh gosh. Hang on, just, sorry guys. Hi. Oh, hang on, just a sec. Hi. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it is. Just take a look. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, what would you like us to bring?
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it took me a while to find the mute button. Uh, hang on, let me just uh, catch up with with the chat. Um, you can't tell the difference if it healed you or not. Uh, you need hot showers. I believe you. The sleeve all the cool basketball players wear. They look like arm socks. They need to be a very compressive. You need a compression uh, band. Um, could tell the difference with skin. Mine was silky smooth and manly. Where is Qualdar? Qualdar said that he's uh, going to his sister's birthday, so he's not gonna be here. Isn't it? I mean, if you can have a. If you can figure out the brushes, I still am having a very, very difficult time figuring out brushes in Photoshop. Um, feel the same way when you use proper supplies. Proper supplies, uh, yeah. Digital is easy mode. <laughs> Wanted to say hi before leaving for appointment. Have a great day and weekend, everyone. Thank you, Patty. Bye. Have a wonderful appointment and weekend. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Oil painting is also easy mode, in your opinion. <laughs> yes, I think so. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> Kaldar can help you with brushes, Varasan. Yes, I, I need to ask him for a to give me some brushes that he recommends because yesterday I was just going crazy with uh, with trying to figure uh, Photoshop is very annoying uh, but but I did do actually pretty good progress I made good progress with with Photoshop, I have uh, three walls covered already. Because I'm doing... So, I, I don't know if you caught this, Louis, but um, this is basically a painting slash sketch in preparation for a mural that I'm gonna paint uh, shortly, soon. Uh, once I'm done sketching and getting all the uh, design ready. But it's gonna be a stairway mural and there's a lot of walls involved so um Calder, right let me see if i can figure out how to stream my ipad on discord Getting a little funky with music now. do you use Lewis for your big canvases because my big canvas is very uh, wobbly you're going to film the mural yes I think that's something people would watch I will do probably um, mostly time-lapse time-lapse format but I might film it also in real time some portions of it real time maybe so here's what I've been thinking. Uh, at the moment, making videos is really difficult for me because I, 
I've got things to do, you know, like I just I want my daughter at home and then I'm really tired at night. So all day is just caught with other things and then making videos. So what I'm thinking is uh, how can I batch record like Sean Cannell says from just one thing, you know, because generally we'll do one thing and then we just do one video. But I'm thinking that I can actually make this mural and it's going to have so much going on in it. And it's going to have animals and foliage and depth. And uh, for one, you know, painting a mural in a stairway, which is pretty, pretty, uh, you know, I searched how to do it <laughs> too. Because it can be difficult, you know, when uh, it's not accessible. Uh, when the space is not easily accessible so i'm getting a specialty ladder leveler in order to access all the walls and that could be a video how to make uh, to paint a mural in a stairway and then you know how to paint the mural and then how to do foliage and then you know i can do some time lapses of some animals so yeah it's gonna be at least three weeks of work. I know that's not a lot for you, Louis, but uh, mural muralists, they work really fast. A lot of them, I'm, the, I'm in this uh, mural artist group in Facebook, and oh my God, when some of these people, they say, well, I finished this mural today. <laughs> and it's like a whole wall, huge wall. And it looks amazing. Like, I just work fast. Yeah, son of a, son of a gun. How do people work so fast? Well, a lot of them use aids, uh, and I don't think I don't think they're uh, cheating to to do a projector, for example. I want to get a good projector. I wouldn't want know what easel I use. <laughs> I'll have to check. It is a lot of work. Yeah, but you also, on the other hand, you spent six months on your painting. However, I don't think you <clears throat> worked on it every day, right? You didn't work on that every day. I'm gonna be working on this every day for, well, weekdays. <sighs> projector is nice I'm sure that's super helpful for murals yeah um, I'd like to see the process I bet there are a lot of people who would like to decorate their room who would benefit from your knowledge I know <laughs> six months is extreme on the other hand there are you know uh, painters traditional painters that work on one painting for years I don't know how they could do that but they probably don't work on it every single day for for six hours. So. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make <clears throat> a nice, nice video. Oil well, painting is different and I could definitely speed it up by improving my technique. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you've got to use something to help you with murals because they're, they're so much bigger. Gen when I started, I just freehanded and even now I freehand a lot. Like, I don't plan to use anything for this one because it's very freeform, you know, freeform. But I have used a grid uh, a grid for for some of my other murals uh, like of figures of people and stuff that had to be exactly in that place so a grid is super helpful and uh, but for this one it's uh, the wall is all over the place <laughs> I couldn't even get a projector up there if I wanted to all right maybe we'll just Go in a little bit of burnt umber, burnt sienna, a little bit of black, 
We'll grab a touch of green for that too. Like a, let me see what we do here. Mixing it up as we come forward. Maybe lighten it up just a touch. Lighten it up a lot because it's in the more in the background. Now we can get darker as we come forward. Um, don't use a projector. Be a man. <laughs> Am I a man? I'm an expert on murals, even though I've never done one. So you can listen to me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sears, coming out through you. I see here, Lewis, Mr. JP. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis, being a man is not an option for, for a lot of people. I'm glad it works for you, though. <laughs> it looks so light on the... This color looks so light on the... Um, what's it called? On the palette. And when I put it on the canvas, it looks super dark. get a little darker as we come forward more brown more color um, do you remember that statue still alive I streamed a long time ago I've been working on the script for that for months and it sucks <laughs> it takes six months to complete the mural because it's too stubborn to use efficiency <laughs> Atlanta muralist, cool. Sure, you can send me their Instagram. I'm I'm up for learning. It's 2022. All you have to do is say you're something to become it, Laura. You're <laughs> you're right. I'm such a bigot. Um, doodle gritting technique. I I have heard of it. I've never done it, but I've I've wanted to do it. I just don't do as many large murals you know and the murals that i do are uh i don't know more free form i can put stuff wherever but the last yeah um it is very helpful for large for large murals <coughs> it's basically you make uh, you doodle on the wall and then and then you project and then you uh, take a picture of the wall and then you um, put the doodle on top of the, the painting that you want to do and then it's really easy to see all the reference points so then you can draw the mural on the design Um, <laughs> they swore by it. it might be slightly different because they do yeah I want to try it yes yeah do it how far is Atlanta Clara <laughs> it would be fun to meet and and do a big mural you know what I do with my friend Paul we're actually overdue for it because we started uh, I do my garage door every you know I, I did it seasonally for for a year I did it in the spring I started one Halloween so I did it one Halloween and then the next uh, it was really cool and then I did it in the winter I just painted over in the winter it was a solstice theme and then I painted over it in the summer in the spring it was uh, I think it was a dandelion puff. I think that might be my favorite one that I've done. I still wish I had it on, on my garage door. And then for the summer, I painted uh, a big mushrooms with dew drops and a sunbeam. And, and so those were pretty much seasonal murals. 
And then I've painted over that to some um, the B bot. And then last year, uh, last uh, fall, we Paul and I wanted to do this kind of scene with Harley Quinn and the Joker. And we started it the last warm day of fall. And then it got cold and I, we never finished it. And I was just sitting, one unfinished mural on my garage door. It's very unsightly. So I have to call him back and say, hey Paul, let's just, let's just do something else. Let's forget about that. He'll be heartbroken because he really likes <laughs> Harley Quinn and Joker. And basically I chose that theme for him. I'm not big on on comics and stuff, but mm. you don't think I care about using a projector as long as it's your drawing, your project. Right, right, exactly. It's too far, like 15 hours or something. But if you're ever in the area, please let me know. I'll definitely, I definitely will. Uh, I would imagine you have to be careful about keeping it squared so there's no warp. Yes. That is correct. It's got to be straight on. Ah, thank you. The pouring class, uh, it's a bit far from Philly, but uh, can you beat your husband up, Laura? Of course. Initial thoughts, grab <laughs> any other Q&A yeah, you want me to answer. Cash grab that is going to have some BS to make money. Oh how to after watching oh i don't know what you guys are talking about so i'm just gonna talk amongst yourselves I'm just gonna mind my own business here and cover this with some dark Alright, it's time for me to mix more more paint. I don't have enough. I really like this stalo green. It's very very pigmented. They were dressed. <laughs> I, I guess so. Yes, I figured that much talking about video games. The only video game I play is Supernatural, and that is enough for me. Talk about a game where you can actually beat stuff and feel feel strong and get strong and get strong my husband plays Fortnite and uh, he always gets frustrated about people who cheat and you know that kind of dirty stuff and then you can get angry you know because you're trying to kill people and you don't actually do that but that's super frustrating <laughs> uh, who's Paul? <laughs> oh 
will you play Overwatch? I don't... Um, I don't have Overwatch. I don't know how to get Overwatch. And uh, basically, I don't have time to play Overwatch. <laughs> but, uh, but if you really want me to try it, then sure. Here's the problem, Louis. You should know. Uh, I have an addictive personality. You can't just give an addict another reason to get a, another thing to get addicted to. Like it's it's not fair to us <laughs> to keep waving stuff that we might fall in love with. You know, it's just not fair. So I try to keep temptations at bay as much as I can because I know myself. So, I know you'll understand that. <laughs> BS. Who is Paul? Paul, my... My... 60 years old, 60 year old friend? I don't know, probably. <laughs> but I wouldn't be very proud of it. <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not something I'd be proud of. I can tell you how to quit. It's easy, get angry at the idiots. <laughs> oh, Sam? Am I ab able to beat Sam? Probably not. I don't think he's got this first of all here's the the reason why I'm not you know infatuated with my muscles because I think I think I look stronger than I actually am <laughs> I have nothing to compare it to except for my the old versions of me in which yes I am stronger but compared to other people I might be stronger, but not everyone, you know? So in that respect, I think that my muscles are bigger than what it looks like I'm capable of. For example, I will give you a concrete example so that you can understand where I'm coming from. But uh, a, a few years ago, we, when I was uh, weaker and younger, somebody gave us a, pia a piano. So we tried to bring it inside and I'm like, yeah, no problem. We'll take your piano out of your house. So Sam and I were super confident, strong young people. We can we can deal with a piano. When we got there, like 40, 400 pounds, that's chump change. We got there, we barely could lift the freaking piano. It was embarrassing. Well, eventually a third person uh, helped us you know, a grown adult male came and helped us uh, put the piano onto the trailer. We brought it home and we can lift it off the trailer to, to bring it inside on the stairs so that we can bring it inside. And uh, we didn't know what to do. My husband has got the super pride, you know, the male American pride. He, uh, he would not call a neighbor to help us. I said, let's just call a freaking neighbor. Like, what's so shameful in that? <laughs> call a neighbor, help us bring it inside. No foul, you know, everything is good in the, in the world. And we can connect to neighbors. And I was like, no, he's such a man. So I was inside, I don't know, cooking dinner or something. And Sam... On his freaking own, he picked up the piano and he he put the last foot onto the platform to bring it inside. He got angry. That's the thing. When you feel weak, get angry. And anger will give you that extra edge of power you never knew you had. And that is the secret to power and strength. It's anger. <laughs> And uh, I don't have much anger in me very often. Sometimes I have a righteous indignation and I do get angry sometimes. So sometimes, but no, I don't think I could. In one word, I don't think I could beat him up. 
<laughs> I look strong. I'd beat a chick, you know, I wouldn't be proud of it. <laughs> they are happy. I know. <laughs> Anger is the key to everything I know. some paints are getting dry just a spot of water so yeah acrylic paints to keep them wet just put a little bit of water on them I was gonna get some ochre um, I'm trying the streaming cool on discord Funky music coming up in here. <laughs> Anyway, I'm very excited to try the new paints. The golden mural paints. They were surprisingly cheaper than I thought they would be. Oh, you know, because when you hear golden, golden paints, they're really good quality paints and the price is reflected too. And uh, I was expecting some ridiculous, you know, prices. <clears throat> But then compared to my other mural paints, they weren't that much more expensive. Well, some, some pigments were more expensive, like twice the price, like the yellow was way more expensive than, than the uh, chroma mural paints that I generally use. But uh, the white and the, the other colors were just, uh, I don't know, $5 more for a 16 ounce tub they're like um, almost $14 a 16 ounce tub which is less than a dollar an ounce which is amazing for for golden I will see how they perform I have I have trust that they'll be good paint stuff The yellow was 20 something, but I think the yellow will also last a lot longer, probably. Thank you. 
Sorry I can't join you, Clara. <laughs> I'm already on one platform. Hey, Jamie. Hello. How are you today? Very nice to see you here. Well, to read, to feel your presence, rather. <laughs> How is life? Life. Don't talk to me about life. It's my general answer, but... <sighs> it's difficult to see things here. No problem, though I try it out and see what's possible. Yeah. Gotta tell you guys, I am just stoked that my sound is good. I've gone through enough turmoil <laughs> with bad sound. It's a nice color. Burnt sienna. Uh, friend hasn't shown up yet, but I'm dog-sitting his two dogs. <laughs> Hope they, they're nice dogs. They mostly lay around. Oh, that's good. Gotta love old dogs. <laughs> I love old dogs. And low, uh, low energy dogs. Those are my favorite. Not very much into the high energy dogs. to my reference photo um, after having <laughs> two bag to bag poop last night I have to put off the idea of getting my own dog <laughs> yeah oh what happened to I'm gone what happened I have my did you guys not see? I'll just wait. I think I don't know why my uh, other camera just shut off. I don't know when that happened. Yeah, I am not a big fan of owning pets, to be honest. I think pets, I think animals should live in the wild and humans should just figure out entertainment and affection for themselves. Why is this not working? Hang on a second.
Now it should be working. Ah, uh, now I see it. Okay, good. <laughs> they are furry children. Yes, they are. They're like four year olds. They are entertaining though, I gotta say. My dogs are very entertaining. And after. So we have this older dog. He's about eight, nine years old now. We adopted him around when he was around three years old. And he's been just a sweetheart for the most part. Uh, he's got his little idiosyncrasies, but overall he's a really good dog. And, uh, <clears throat> but he's getting old, slowly, like us all. And uh, my daughter wanted a puppy. So we're looking for a female, you know, just to curb the the aggressive behavior. But we we're looking for a long time. It's really difficult to find the dog that you're looking for. We wanted a small dog, a hypoallergenic dog. And that really narrows it down a lot. And we didn't want to pay, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars for a dog. So that really narrows it down. But eventually we found this uh, male, this male uh, Pomapoo. So, so we got him and it took a while for, for Kale to adopt him. But now, aside from the dominating behavior, you know, trying to hump him nonstop, it's hilarious though. It's like dog TV. They also play. It's hilarious when they play. <laughs> it looks like they're flirting. <laughs> it looks like they're just going to have a good time. And then my older dog does have his good time. He starts humping, which is not very nice when you're trying to have dinner or have company over. But you can use that. You can use it. <sighs> Funny children. Very high maintenance ch children too. Pretty much as expensive as children as well. My dad's dog had puppies. <laughs> yeah, a gift and a curse. He could sell them for good money. Australian Shepherds. Oh, wow. These are big dogs, right? Pretty big and shaggy. Uh, shepherd dogs. Shepherds are smart, though. I like them. I like big dogs. And I cannot lie. <laughs> but we have two small dogs because our house is pretty small and we're pretty small, too. I grew to like small dogs too. They're a little easier to deal with. You know, cheaper grooming uh, fees too. They're a little cheaper, but they tend to be louder. And uh, they have their own confidence issues, which doesn't help. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
they need room to run and I don't have that. Plus, I don't want the responsibility, yeah. You need the room for a big dog, that's the thing. He has his handful raising a kitten. Oh my gosh, that was born without eyes. Last year I painted uh, a cat that was like an Instagram sensation. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Something starting with F. Something F. But uh, this cat had uh, uh, some sort of eye syndrome that he lost his eyes. And, and uh, owner was posting about the cat's needs and stuff so a lot of people started supporting the cat and I painted a, a painting in his honor <laughs> I think it was during the live stream I'm gonna have one of those uh, stinky plants there you know those stinky rainforest plants? He has a bad leg, so he's trying to make it a little device like a cat wheelchair hole. That's so sweet! It's very cute. It's hard enough having a pet, you know? Having a pet with a disability is just a whole different level of care I have a log there that grows mushrooms and then I don't know what I have here but I'll just block these plants in Mushroom in there. It was one I liked. It had the colors and patterns of a blue healer with blue eyes. Wow. Blue eyed dogs are pretty. I don't know why this song reminds me of Britney Spears. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's when he goes dun, 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 dun. Sounds to me like Britney's gonna break out in song any minute like Right? Am I right? <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Anyone else dying in the heat? It's been over $100. Oh, $100. 100 degrees all week. Wow. It is pretty hot and muggy today. Uh, I'm in the garage, so the garage stays pretty cool. But yeah, you can see that uh, I'm wearing the least amount of clothing that I can wear while being decent and presentable still. But yeah, it's it's warm. Outside, it's really warm. A hundred degrees. That's a lot. I mean, it could be worse, you know. But it's still hot. Um, I don't know what, how many degrees it's been hot here. Not quite a hundred, but humid. Where do you, where would you go swimming, Clara? Do you have a... Do you have lakes around you or... Or beaches or pool? Wow, 108 in the river or at the pool. <laughs> at the pool for a quick dip. How is it over there, oh, people-wise? Is it super busy? Because it's here, it gets pretty crazy with with people. I don't know what I made these lines here. Oh, that's probably a. Another part of the route. <laughs> the river gets full of tubes. Uh. <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> that sounds fun. Does your husband go pulling too? I like going to the pool when there's no people. I don't really like to. swim in other people's uh, bodily secretions. <laughs> oh yeah, for the pool we try to go to the one that doesn't have kids. Yeah, right? <laughs> or else could get could get interesting. This uh, phthalo green is very transparent. I'm seeing the one from Arteza. Very transparent. This one kind of reminds me of the Matrix. Or a Chemical Brothers, that's it. Not this one, the previous one. Alright, at the darks. Let's uh, paint those rocks in there. Paint some rocks. Um. <laughs> three or four people. I'll take three or four people. I could go there. I could go there. Oh, 
got a mushroom here. It's one of those uh, bridal veil stinkhorn mushrooms. I think I have to paint the area behind it because it is, uh, it's got holes in it. So I better just paint whatever's behind it. Without kids, what is that like, right, Jamie? Clara and Lou is inviting me to play games, video games. I'm like, you guys clearly <laughs> don't have kids. <laughs> oh, uh, to have the luxury to do things for oneself. <laughs> no, I do that, I do that. But I have to prioritize what I can do, you know, I, I can do things for myself, but I can't do all the things for myself. And if I was to choose, I would rather, I, I, I would rather not give up my time to exercise, to work out in favor to a, a sit down video game or a show or something, you know? Got limited time. I gotta make the most of it. <laughs> no kids yet. Overwatch! <laughs> yeah, they were trying to get me to play some sort of video game. Probably Overwatch. When I have kids, they will be required to play games with me. <laughs> I don't really have an adult life without kids. Me neither, Jamie. <laughs> oh, my god. That's tough. That's tough. I think you're gonna find, Clara, that you're gonna wanna spend time with your kids doing art and stuff like that more. But who knows, you know, maybe you will keep your, your gaming habits. Do you want kids, Clara? Are you looking forward to that in the near future or not yet? <laughs> they prefer Fortnite. <laughs> you were thinking about having kids? <laughs> Alyssa has been practicing graphite drawings. Nice. You did share. You did share one of her drawings with us. I think it was really good. I need to wait until that dries a little bit. I'm honestly envious that you had kids early because it means you get to spend more time with them in the world, in this world. Oh, well, there, there is absolutely uh, an advantage to having kids early because then because then they move out of the house and then you still have some time while you're still young and want to have fun on your own so there is an advantage to that you know but yeah, it's just a matter of trading I guess
And besides, Clara, nobody knows how many days anyone has, so <sighs> sometimes um, you just can't plan for life. <laughs> Play Monopoly with Alyssa. Apparently, me winning makes me toxic. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna learn in this world everything makes you toxic when you're a parent. Uh, <laughs> it's a parent. <clears throat> Every year you decide not to have kids, it's another year you get to not spend time with them. Um, Clara, if you're enjoying your life and you're making the best of your life as a non-parent, enjoy it as much as you can and when when you feel like you want to go for it then go for it but don't worry you can't plan to live till over a hundred <laughs> she's drawing for naf nice <laughs> 60 years <laughs> you really plan to live until a hundred years clara i don't know think you think so now but you get closer and you're like eh, I don't know I don't know not everybody is the same uh, yeah my daughter was going through a FNAF uh, stage two and uh, actually there's a there's a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, video game in the oculus that I'm that I use I went in there once to see what, what it was about. It was, it's kind of like a scare, you know, a scare game. It freak, it freaks you out. And uh, I think it's pretty boring. We did FNAF and the other one, Bendy and the Ink Machine. Besides Clara, nothing is too heavy for a Friday on uh, on this channel. You can go heavy anytime you want. We're heavy, we're heavy uh, sets, not heavy sets. Heavy-minded <laughs> people, we're just tough. <laughs> it's great. I wanted to have all the kids I was going to have by the time I was 30 and I did. Wow, I should have waited a little longer. You can still do it when you're 80, yeah. <laughs> um, well, at least you planned for it, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to go into details about plans. some gray to this green to make it a little more opaque very transparent maybe I'll make some of this liquitex this is way more opaque mix it with some ultramarine blue green shade that'll be nice um <laughs> Alyssa was not planned. I leave for a second when women start talking about children. <laughs> I was sick and went to the doctor. Oh my god. Oh. That must have been shocking. Hey, you know, we take whatever life throws at us. Life throws at us. And uh, roll with the punches, it's what I say. And as I say again, one and done for me. <laughs> one and done. That's my motto. I already said it once. <laughs> 
But yeah, enjoy, really enjoy and don't regret your life, Clara. Your life without kids. Just live it to the fullest, because once you have kids, you're really gonna lose all the freedom that you have now. And that's not, not a small thing, I can tell you right now. Enjoy your freedom. And then when you think that you're done with your freedom, then you have kids. And you're gonna have another adventure. I'm not saying that, you know, you can't do fun things. It's just, it's gonna be different. And it might be a lot of fun. <laughs> it was longer than a second. I know, right? You gotta keep him accountable. The only man was about to have surgery and had to be canceled. Wow, nice. And a clean house, that is true. Sometimes you get your clean house back uh, when they're teens and you force them to do something to be disciplined around the house. things everywhere even when you think it is clean <laughs> and it's not funny but I laugh it's funny because they say you know terrible twos and then awful threes and then <laughs> yeah uh, but it's just all, always awful then you they hit teenager phase and then just hang in there and hope you'll survive it it's Sounds funny, but it's actually terrible. But we all survive everything. We can do it. More green, more distance. Um, let's see, where are we? Where were we? They can be a lot of fun. Think of a sick baby that has diarrhea that fills their onesie and they throw up in your hair and on a shirt to clean them up first before you clean yourself. <laughs> then there are times when they use you as their personal human tissue. They can be a lot of fun. <sighs> well, you're an amazing person, Jamie, for, for saying those things and still finishing your statement with they can be a lot of fun. It takes a strong person to, to do that. And congratulations. <laughs> B 
but you do have to maintain some boundaries you know you have to set boundaries for them you can't just throw up on you like that it's just uncivilized Oh, this burnt umber with this uh, green make a really nice color. Really rich green. It's kind of like a brownish green. I think it's gonna take a little bit of time to figure out what's what in here, but uh, <sighs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> it was a compliment. I was not being sarcastic. <laughs> It's good that you're not bitter, you know, is what I meant to say. It's good that you still have the love to give. You're a good mom. here and there's some foliage up there you can do a dark green the same way I work on murals. I sketch the design first and then I go and do the background. Though sometimes I mix it up and I block the foreground in first, like the main objects, but it's just blocking in so it's not the final layer. It depends. I guess that's how I feel. They both work the same because it's a matter of many layers. At least two on both the background and the foreground. edge here with my brush because I'm gonna get into some thinner uh, <laughs> never better even when my daughter pulls off the shit she does not know she that she's a thief <laughs> we had therapy yesterday and I'm not even going to rehash any of that oh boy I have very mixed opinions on therapy. I think therapy is a good thing, but on the, on the same side, I've had encounters with therapists because we did try therapy too. I mean, so just to put this into perspective, when I was just about that age, I was in high school, and I think, you know, like, life is tough, man. Uh, and you just have to put up with it. You have to put up with it and be a strong person. And very often, especially when you're at that age, you're young, you're like, how the heck am I gonna deal with this? And I need somebody to help me, you know? And I felt like I had a, a lot of unsolved problems, a lot of unanswered questions. I felt like I was totally, uh, you know, like I had problems, like I had things to solve. and. 
and basically I wanted to be a psych psychologist. The reason why I didn't do that is because, well, there was a psychology college in my hometown and I, I wanted to leave home. So that's why I didn't go to psychology. That's what I wanted to do. But, uh, but I understand the need for, for therapy and I never did do therapy. I never, well, I wanted to do psychology because I felt like I myself needed therapy and I thought that by learning it and studying it, I could learn about the human brain and how it operates because that's all psychology is, the, the science of the brain. And, and if you read a little bit and you can, like a lay person can understand uh, what, why we have thoughts that we have and how we can manage our inner life. You know, it's not easy and by any means, you know, therapy is great, but but and there's a big but here uh my daughter felt like she needed therapy and i thought well if she says that she needs it obviously she's she's heard it on social media or whatever that people go to therapy and apparently uh you know everybody's got problems to solve so i did take her to therapy but the therapist that i took her to well, she wasn't a psychotherapist, which is what I would always encourage people to go to an actual psychotherapist that, or shrink as, as it's called, it's called a shrink, a psychotherapist, otherwise it's a psychologist. And I just don't believe that the therapists, they all follow a certain protocol now and they're forced to go a certain way. So rather than trying to solve your problems nowadays, therapists, they affirm your problems and they help you uh, uh, accept, accept your problems rather than solve them and tell, tell you that everything is okay and these thoughts are normal and uh, you know, it's either prescribing medicine or, but it's not, you'd have to be hard pressed to find a good therapist I think my own opinion uh, so that's my rant on therapy <laughs> um, it has become therapy for her as well as marriage counseling since we seem to affect her I tried it and it wasn't for me at least not through better help but I could see it being helpful hmm. yeah I've seen the the ads for better help and I have been wondering about that actually what was your experience Clara it's um <laughs> mine doesn't do that she makes it sound like I am the issue hmm. yeah I I don't know I don't necessarily want to sound like I have trust issues, but but you have to be super careful with choosing a therapist and making sure that they're they're there to help you, not to blame you know to to put blame on. Like here was my experience with this this young and in my opinion very inexperienced therapist. We went to her. And she spent a little time with my daughter and uh and so then in the last couple of minutes she called me in and she said what would you like to talk about and i'm like uh pff. she called me you know like what are we talking about like what's the conversation what can i what conversation can i add on to and so then i said well uh, my opinion is that this is something and then she immediately caught me off and she said, well, you know, um, studies have shown that it's not that and that blah, 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 blah. I'm like, wow, bitch, thanks for, you know, just contradicting me in front of my daughter and, and completely undermining what I said and interrupting me. Like she didn't even let me finish. <laughs> Needless to say, I never went back. 
I just feel bad for people that go there trying to find help and they keep with one person and you know the thing is that the grown-ups parents bring their children and when a child goes to therapy the, the parent isn't allowed in most of the time and the conversations are completely private and I don't think that well the way it should go is that the therapist then goes and, and shares with the parent uh, the findings and gives advice and stuff but this doesn't this is completely private and only the child knows what they discussed and is not even allowed to share I think it's completely full um, you talked the entire time and just kept asking questions no actually insight into anything hmm yeah that's therapy in a nutshell exactly Apparently I need to learn how to deal with ADHD better since her and her father have it. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> I have it too. Pretty sure. Self-diagnosed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure my daughter has it. Come on. To be honest, uh, it's it not might not be ADHD. It might just be living in this society of distraction that pulls you away every single second with something different and then we are the ones who are medicated and told that we are wrong no adhd is like the uh, novel thing my opinion of course there might be uh, exceptions like serious you know syndromes but adhd did not exist hundred years ago when people were allowed to be quiet and and focus on something for more than 10 minutes or five minutes you know so it's only a man-made a society made problem that's just my opinion Yeah, of course you agree, because <laughs> we're smart people. <laughs> Time to pick up poo again. Oh, <laughs> oh my. said that I do have ADHD and I you know um, I have trouble focusing and concentrating most of the time and I know this since I was pretty young I noticed that I read I read a page and I'm basically thinking of something else and then I realize after I read the whole page that I have no idea what I just read and then you know it takes a little bit of discipline to go back and read it again and again and you know after three readings i can remember most of it and it just takes more time but not to say that you're completely played for the rest of your life and sam has adhd well add which was diagnosed probably you know he was on on uh, the medication for a long time and he realized that the medication it gave him Ritalin it gave him like serious side effects he was he was being in his own words he's being a jerk and a douchebag for every time he was coming off it he was being super aggressive super angry and he made a connection between the medication and and the and his behavior and he also realized and that 
in a helpful way the medication actually helped did help him to uh, to see how his brain would work with with the medicine so on the medicine his he noticed the change the shift that would happen and he would try to be disciplined enough to make that shift uh, to focus a lot harder to make that change when he wasn't on the medication so you know I mean whatever works for people I guess but you can't just trust doctors with diagnoses and you can't just put your whole life in their in their hands they're they're just puppets really it's really insulting to say but they only say and prescribe what what they're taught to and judgment is the morals the moral part I don't think it really comes into play in the doctor world as much as it should <laughs> Alyssa can't take stimulants oh wow that's Hmm, hard work did, right, yeah, yep, but it's hard nowadays, you know, to tell the truth and to not, to feel like, when you're saying something like, just be strong or, you know, work harder, people are like, what are you talking about, oh, I can't, or just, ugh, this whole victimizing, <laughs> victimizing society. It's, it's sad. What time is it? 2.19, holy moly. Um, my case, focus on good behavior was beat into me. <laughs> the emperor has no clothes. And yeah, or the queen has no clothes and everybody's like, good on you. <laughs> You're what America stands for. It's so good to see strong people not being ashamed of themselves. <clears throat> I went a bit farther. No apologies. Is it? Oh my gosh, 220. Um, <clears throat> it's a minority way of thinking, and most people are sick of it. Yeah, you gotta be uh, really proud of people who can still argue and make a point against the majority of people of thinking. Because the majority of people of thinking in America, at least, what I'm seeing in my own experience, what I'm observing is it's kind of sad and uh, it's just what is more worth for a human than than the feeling of strength, you know, the feeling of power, the feeling where you are empowered and you can you can do something with your life, you can do something to empower somebody else, to teach somebody else, to be a strong and model by by the things that you you do. A, I'm just mumbling now, <laughs> but uh, you know you help people, and it's not in a be yourself sort of way, you know, not just a medal for participating. Is being strong because you have an actual reason to be proud. But I hate seeing the victimizing culture. 
they just make themselves feel seem weak and be weak and it's not entertaining that's people I guess humans all right well uh, this is it guys for now I think I gotta oh wait I only went live at 12 uh, I'll go I'll go for another couple minutes uh, it's so prevalent too prevalent right and despite the perception of good over the reality of it <laughs> This is why I look forward to Laura's streams. Oh, <laughs> interesting discussion. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, people and reality is just skewed. We're skewing and making things, making things up and calling them something even though it's obvious that something is not. I'm not talking about anything in particular, obviously. Making toast for afternoon snack. Nice. <laughs> Group therapy. I love it. What I mean is people say they care about someone, so they tell those people what they want to hear. Yes, but the reality is it's not right and they're doing them a disservice. To, to good today, you run into the risk of being hated. Yes? Free today? Okay. All right. Let me just finish this, and then uh, we can go. Okay. Thank you. Just blocking it in. I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I came down the stairs like a few minutes ago, maybe like ten minutes ago, and I was petting the dog. I did hear you, but uh, and it's. Hear you say anything or do anything, so. That's because I just walked down the stairs and went straight to the door and was petting Stanley because I saw him. Okay, so can you take him out before you go? <laughs> Sounds good. You're right, Lewis. I totally agree on that, and I think we are referring to the same thing. It's also the same place that the kilting is. It's at Miles' house. At Miles' house, yeah. Do you remember the address? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Um, to do good today. Right, right. You're totally right, Louis. I agree with you. So, uh, gotta be more honest. Gotta tell the truth the way it is. And not be afraid to be hated. Because, like, life is too short to, to pretend. And to uh, just go with somebody's lies just to placate them so thank you guys so much for for joining me today and this is just about as much as i could do in two hours and a half i gotta run my daughter to our dnd play group <laughs> i'll see you guys next time hopefully i can get a video out i'll definitely um work on this and then i'll take make a video on this and then the mural for sure 
so so that I can be in focus bye guys thank you and I'll see you my pleasure <laughs> what did Clara say uh, I would argue that I wanted to say nice things so that you have a procession. Right, it's true. <sighs> okay, bye.